Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video and welcome back to the Shells or Course. And in this video, we're going to be looking at positional parameters and we're going to be looking at how to create a script that allows you to uh, create a user or you can customize it to whatever you feel. But the whole idea behind this video is to show you or to explain to you the, the value of positional parameters and how they can be used uh, in conjunction with scripts. All right, so without further ado, let's get started. Now, I already have created my add user dot shell script right over here, and I've created my shebang. So uh, make sure you do that as well. All right, so uh, let me explain what positional parameters are used for. Well, positional parameters are essentially variables that contain values or data that are passed through the terminal when you execute the script. Now, when I say they're positional parameters, that's exactly how they're used. They are used uh, in regards to their position with executing the script. All right, so let me just enter uh, this right here and I'm just going to clear that up. So let's say I was to execute one of these scripts that I have right over here. So let's say I wanted to execute uh, conditional.shell here. So uh, essentially just say conditional.shell. Now positional parameters are variables that can be executed in regards to their, to their position. So Let's say I wanted to add, uh, if I, if this script supported it, let's say I wanted to have a, a positional parameter here that passed the value or had the data of, let's say something like, um, we can say John, Let, let's say this script was going to make use of positional parameters and the positional parameter that I've specified here is John. Now, of course, in this case, this script does not uh, utilize any positional parameters, but that is the whole process here. Now, you might be asking, uh, well, how, uh, what rules exactly exist when it comes down to positional parameters? Now, of course, I'll explain this when we get into the script. Now, positional parameters usually have a range in terms of how they are executed. Uh, they range from a very simple denote, uh, denotion. So if I just open up nano here, and um, if I if I just, yeah, nano, and let's use the add user uh, dot shell script here uh being edited yes all right so uh yes this is the script that i created but i first wanted to uh, to explain what exactly was going on here so what i'm going to do is uh i'm going to create my shebang here and um there we are all right so when we're talking about positional parameters something that you need to understand in, in regards to the syntax or the rules is positional parameters range from zero to nine Okay, and they are denoted by using the dollar sign because in reality they are a variable. So they range from zero all the way to nine. All right. And when I say this, of course, I mean zero, one, two, three, all the way to nine. So like so. Now they all store variables, but the thing you need to understand is when executing the script, the, the first positional parameter, which is, uh, taken by the zero, uh, the, the, the zero variable here, is given to the script itself okay so the structure is very very simple so um uh, the script is executed and that is uh, given to the the first positional parameter which is uh, the zero variable and then from there the other position positional uh, the other positional parameters are given their own variable uh, uh, designation based on how they are entered and in what order they are entered. So let me just uh, write changes to this and let me explain this uh, in a second. So let's say uh, I wanted to launch the add user script, right? And um, now uh, you you can see, if, uh, well, first, first of all, let me just uh, use an example one here. So let's say we wanted to launch the conditional dot shell script here. The first positional parameter is given to zero, which is the simple process of executing the script. So that is given to the, uh, to the zero uh, uh, parameter or variable, whatever you want to call it. The next one is right after, and that you could be passing a value. Let's say you wanted to pass the value of 10. That is given to the variable dollar one. Okay, then let's say I wanted to specify another positional parameter, I could say, uh, and remember, these are, this is all data that is being used in the script. So let's say I wanted to say something like a name. All right. That is the second pos positional parameter that is given to the, uh, to the variable or parameter dollar two. Uh, so you, you get the idea. And the reason I'm specifying dollar is because I want you to explain that I, I want you to understand that they are variables. All right, so l let me go into the uh, add user variable here and uh, the add user script. And we are going to be creating a script 
that will essentially allow you to uh to it will essentially be a script that automates the process of adding a user okay so this is how it's going to go so uh to demonstrate as you probably saw when i ran the script and i was editing as it as root uh some of the script was still there but i want to explain it from the start all right so uh the it's really very simple so we're going to create a script that allows us to enter user so the first thing i want to do is i want to demonstrate that indeed the script is being executed and I'll, and I'll display the variable that it is okay so i'll say uh echo and i'm going to say uh let's say execution of script all right so i'm going to say execution uh of script and i'm going to specify the variable here so we can use a colon there and i'll specify the variable or the positional parameter 0 which essentially is going to display the script as I, as i mentioned this is given to the to the script itself during execution all right and the second one is going to be uh we're just going to prompt the user to enter the uh to enter the uh, the name of the user they want to create on the kali linux system or whatever linux uh system you're using so we're going to say please enter the name of uh of the user all right and, and now after this we give it the positional parameter of one all right and now be, because we are using positional parameters which are variables as i've mentioned uh the data is going to be directly stored into this variable so if we want to utilize this variable we do not need to read it because th the data is already going to be read and saved into that positional parameter so we can now use that data into adding a user so we're just going to use a, a comment here and say um adding user and we'll use the simple linux commands uh, used to enter or add a user so add user and uh, we'll specify the uh, the group here so home and we'll now specify the uh, the group so the group is uh, of we'll just give it its own group which is we'll specify the variable dollar uh, one or as uh, as uh, uh, the, the same way you declare a variable uh, if you're doing it normally and the name of the user of the user account which is again going to be one and that should be it all right so this script in essence should essentially display the execution of the script and uh, and the script being executed which is given in the variable zero or the positional parameter zero and then uh it will it is it is going to uh, execute a script that will prompt the user to enter a username uh for uh, a new username that they would like to have on the system and then it is going to add the user so i'm going to hit o to save this control o and i'm going to exit this and we're going to clear that up and i'm going to use chmod and uh we will use the add user script here uh whoops my bad sorry about that guys uh chmod uh, and add user and there we are so let me clear that up and we'll launch the script so add user i'm going to hit enter and uh, for some reason um we're getting an error here telling us that the script uh that we cannot enter oh yes sorry about that that is the other thing uh i know you, I, I got a little bit confused because i was expecting it to prompt us but when you're talking about positional parameters it's good that this came up you specify the data within the command here that is the whole idea with positional parameters like the way you would have with an nmap scan where you have to specify the ip that's a positional parameter okay so uh, add user and now we would we need to just specify the uh, the first positional parameter which as we mentioned is given to the dollar one or the variable one okay and in this case this is going to be the name of the user so we can just create a user uh user one and i'm going to hit enter and as you can see it's uh, the the first line that we entered which is essentially going to display the uh, the first variable or the first positional parameter indeed has displayed it here which is the first command which is executing the script add user dot shell the second one uh, prompts us to enter the name of the user and we specify the name which is user one and now the script is going to execute and run the commands that we specified in regards to uh to running the script and running the command so adding user one adding new group user one adding new user with the group user one creating the home directory for the user one copying files and uh we it's now prompting us to enter a password for uh for the new user so i'm just going to enter uh the password here and it's going to prompt us again password and i'm going to enter that now 
and now it's going to ask us to enter any other additional information so a full name room number work phone all that good stuff i'm not going to do that so i'm just going i'm just going to hit uh, the yes the information is correct and hit enter and that user is uh, entered and created so we have successfully managed to create uh, a user with uh, with the variable that we specified uh, now why is this very important or why are positional parameters used now you might have seen with any almost any professional shell script there is uh, the use of positional parameters to some extent and this is because they allow you to customize the data being entered now with the other scripts the variable had to be initialized and entered and yes you could have the user input the value of the variable but it's much better to have positional parameters because they kind of automate the process and uh, reduce the amount of time uh, that the script uh, executes in and this can only be seen in larger scripts now of course this was not a very complex script but it explains my point uh, really really well in regards to how positional parameters can be used now of course you can also use um you can also use this script to change passwords for certain users if you want to so again this script will also be on github and i want to see what changes you guys can make uh, so make sure you make your commits on GitHub like you guys already did with the password generator. Thank you so much for that. Uh, and we'll, uh, we will be improving this script as we move along. All right. So that is going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, please leave a like down below. If you have any questions or suggestions, let me know in the comment section on my social networks or on my website. And I'll be seeing you in the next video. Peace.